So, I uh, got my switches from a website called allelectronics.com. Um, they're kind of like a surplus of electronics. Uh, they sell various switches, pretty much anything you can think of. Um, so I think Quantum and 10, these were two bucks a piece. Uh, as you can see, the uh, lever arm is real nice and long. So, I mean, this is basically the play field at, and this is above the play field. So this is pretty representative of what a uh, leaf switch would be. So basically, you know, it's a leaf switch, but you got the nice cherry switch, all nice and sealed. You know, it's just a single piece of metal, so I can make this the slots pretty small. Um, had some aluminum angle at work. Uh, this is a little bit small. I think this is one and a quarter by one and a quarter. Uh, I'm getting some a little bit bigger stuff on order. Um, I usually use the Master because they're nearby. I mean, there's one in Chicago, but their prices tend to be a little bit higher. So I've been using the online metals a lot. Um, I think they're in Ohio. So I might get that material tomorrow. Um, anyway, so basically it's just an angle. Switch is mounted from the back. And then, so this is mounted. And then I've got slots on top, which is kind of nice, because once I mount this to the play field, if the switch is too far forward or back, it could, you know, kind of adjust back and forth. Get it kind of tweaked in so, you know, if this is behind a rubber, you know, I just barely touch it and it activates instead of having to, like, slam it. So... I'll uh, get the new angle and make a new bracket, and once I'm happy, I'll make probably like 10 of these and uh, use these for uh, slings or pretty much anything that at least switch would be above the playfield. So, that's it.